Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury Three Three with another match. This time, Lowry and Google Frog on Red Comet. Now, as we said here, both really good players, and on a pretty typical map. So, Lowry going for light vehicles right off the bat. There have been some changes which have weakened hovercrafts a bit, so no surprise Lowry is going for light vehicles instead. And Google Frog also going for light vehicles. Double light vehicle on Red Comet is of no surprise. There's nothing unusual about this at all, but it's still there. Yeah, Lowry is sorry, Google Frog going for Dart Scorcher, Dart into Builder, while Lowry going for basically the same thing. Two darts and a Scorcher before getting the Mason. And Lowry actually no, Lowry switching over into Slashers. Sorry, Google Frog going to Slashers. Google Frog is playing a bit more defensive. Getting the Slashers up instead of getting static defenses, while Lowry has the Scorcher up. Will use that to defend against this Dart pretty quickly. And the other Dart's just going in to scout out. Which the Slashers will take care of without too much issue, I think. The Slasher, yeah, the Slasher will be done. It'll stop in time, and Lowry going to lose one of the darts to that Slasher. Looks like the second Slasher is... Well, that does end up going down. Well, darts coming for Google Frog. Dealing some damage to this Lotus. Will actually be able to take it? Nope, not quite. Now going for the mechs instead, which the Scorcher will stop, or at least prevent, getting that dart out of the way. So this dart, however, was... Just a distraction for the main Scorcher coming in and tearing apart that Mason, tearing apart the mechs, tearing apart the Lotus. Should go into the factory instead. Not the best option. Lowry not paying attention to this at all, apparently. Lowry is... Okay, looking back at that. Make sure the dart's not dead. And the dart is not dead. And the Lotus isn't up either, but the Scorcher did not take its chance to kill off that metal extractor. Google Frog still expanding, though. is using this to expand. Expanding while attacking, as mentioned in the last game. That's what you need to do. And Google Frog doing a pretty good job harassing here. Lowry, however, has been able to successfully defend, only losing a Mason, which still has a pretty big loss at this stage in the game. So Lowry did lose a Mason, but is up for energy. Down for metal, though. Google Frog getting an expansion. Well, Mason in the main base getting the radar while getting an expansion over to the north with the commander, and probably going to be sending the Mason over to the east. Actually, no, no. Using never mind. Going to be using it to buff the factory up to get that factory going faster. While Lowry, on the other hand, needs to start building another Mason, or is getting another Mason actually after the slasher, sorry, the scorcher here, getting another Mason, and Google Frog going just back to scorcher dart, pure scorcher dart, has relented from the assault, but ultimately is still kind of ahead. Google Frog was able to convert that into some some map control, not a huge amount of map control, but a bit of extra economy, and Lowry is going to spot that. We'll see the well, with the dart, we'll see the Metal Extractor will get spotted, however, possibly get stopped by the Scorcher, at least get deterred by the Scorcher and the Lotus. While a couple darts coming from the south, Lowry is still scouting out pretty regularly, which is good to see. However, the Slasher does kill off... Ooh, doesn't quite kill off one of the darts. Lucky dodge in that missile there right at the end. And Lowry defending against another attack from Google Frog, but this time Lowry defending against it perfectly, getting rid of Google Frog's Scorchers without losing any of their own. Lowry did... It did that one very well. Google Frog, wherever, just still getting us around the map, just making sure that there's really no place that Lowry can go without being spotted. But Lowry expanding over to the west side of the map, from along the north side, and Google Frog expanding, well, was expanding north along the west side, but now it looks like they're trying to just expand into the center. Lowry getting a mason down to expand through the center, not expanding south, just expanding into the center. So building up kind of radially from their main base. Not the... Risky strategy, definitely a safer way of doing it, but also does mean that this entire southern area is still pretty much Google Frogs to take whenever they feel like it. Not that Google Frog is going for it though. Google Frog actually just po pushing more into the factory. Now getting a mace along the south side. There we go. That's where it'll start to possibly make a difference. Though Lowry getting the north pretty well. Lowry is ahead economically, just slightly, but still ahead by metal. Not by energy though, but solar plants being built up to just deal with that discrepancy, while Google Frog on the other hand pushing forward with some static defenses and switching over pretty heavily to slashers actually, getting a few more slashers and they look like they're going to be paying off pretty soon too. The Scorchers here with the slasher support doing a great job to defend Google Frog from Lowry's raid. A couple of slashers, did, one of the slashers went down but so did one of the Scorchers for Lowry and forcing the other Scorcher back. Google Frog looks like they're going to be raiding in the north while just setting up defenses along the south, just basically pushing in, making sure they get the entire south side. And Lowry 
basically seeded that by taking the center instead of taking the south. Lowry's going to have a bit of a harder time building up their economy in the late game, unfortunately. Google Frog is rather well positioned to take the entire south side and decently positioned to take the northwest as well, leaving Lowry with pretty much what they have right now for the rest of the game, unless Lowry decides to really be aggressive. Now, getting rid of these slashers would be able to accomplish that, and Lowry does know sort of where the units are, but not very well. Google Frog, on the other hand, has full coverage of Lowry's front line, knows exactly where Lowry is, doesn't know about the southeast, though. There's nothing to know there, mind you, but... Google Frog is not aware that there's nothing to know. And Lowry actually decided just to skip the Raider game completely at this point, switching over to Ravager Leveler. Abandoning the Raider game, and that kind of makes sense. Google Frog did go straight for Slashers, so going in for Ravagers, which can tank the damage decently well, does make sense. One of the Slashers going down to Defenders that Lowry has built up, but the Defenders running out of ammo and... Going down to the Slashes, which have no reload penalties whatsoever. Scorcher's coming in for Lowry to try to deal with this. Getting rid of the Slashes, but Scorcher's support from Google Frog will stop that completely. Keeping Lowry at bay and forcing Lowry to stay inside their own base. Google Frog getting a decent soft contain on here. There's some soft pressure. Lowry isn't really contained, but... Is certainly acting like they are. Google Frog does have... Well, does have an army advantage. 5k or 500 metal army advantage none of that being the commanders by the way the commanders have not upgraded whatsoever but slashers and scorchers coming in making it very difficult for basically anything to move in and actually deal damage which is rather unfortunate for google for sorry rather unfortunate for lowry because lowry like i said needs to get out of here getting some more darts around to scout out actually there are some free mexes lowry if if Lowry knew about these three mexes, they should go for them. But apparently they don't. Instead of going for the main base, see what's going on. And Ravagers are what's going on. At least partially. A Ravagers is what's going on. But despite the best attempts by those darts, not the best target. And at the same time, Google Frog going in to get rid of Lowry's commander. Will this be a successful dive? I don't think so. No, it won't. Lowry escapes with their commander intact, but having to seed more ground. At this point, Google Frog... Pretty much taking the entire north side as well. They have the entire northwest at their control. Or under their control, rather. At their disposal, as I'm going to say. And also taking the south. Google Frog is doing extremely well right now. Lowry is still holding up, though. Lowry still has the economy right now. But it's getting tricky. Lowry has to push forward. And unfortunately... Well, maybe fortunately, actually. Lowry is able to do decently well with the levelers and ravagers. Forcing this... Actually... Not forcing them back. It looks like the Slashes all got killed. I'd rather miss that. Still along the south, though. Scorch is coming in to get rid of these metal extractors. Ravagers try to deal with them. <laughs> but... They're not, no buts. Never mind. They actually do deal with them. I was going to say, but the Scorch have much improved mobility. I mean, the better mobility than the Ravagers do. Not really improved mobility, but their mobility does give an advantage, which didn't matter in this case. The Ravagers were able to finish them off. Still, a couple melee structures went down. Google Frog continuing to take map control and has an economic advantage. And the big thing about Google Frog's economic advantage, like I said, is they have melee structures they haven't taken yet. Although the Northwest is a bit more contested now, it's still basically Google Frogs at this point. Lauer is going to try to take the North Center, which should work for all of two minutes unless Lowry does manage to get rid of Google Frog's army. And Lowry has actually started to get an army advantage. 5.4 metal to Google Frog's 4,000. Which, actually, after getting rid of these few Scorchers, has worked out pretty well. Though, against the Ravagers, the Leveler's going to have a bit of a problem. That's the one thing. If the Leveler can avoid the Ravagers, just kite the Ravagers as they are right now, that's perfect. But the Ravagers have a lot of health, so being able to do that consistently for about a minute or so is going to be the tricky part. And at the same time, Lowry is losing their front line. Losing the front line Mexes and Solar Collectors, while at the same time also attacking from the, from the north. Attacking south and north with some Ravagers and the Leveler. Trying to flank Google Frog's forces and actually doing a pretty good job of that too. Unfortunately, the levelers are a bit too far behind. The Ravager on Ravager fight going in Google Frog's favor despite the flank. Actually, Lowry retreating along the north flank, so the south flank having to retreat as well. And Google Frog taking the advantage despite Lowry's army advantage by cost. Google Frog still has the army advantage overall, at least in terms of local position. 
And also getting this, well, has not really an economic advantage, especially since Lowry, Lowry harassed in the north quite well, stopping Google Frog's economic advantage from actually doing much. Though Google Frog still has the economic advantage, don't get me wrong, there is still an advantage there. But Lowry is pushing in, sorry, Google Frog's pushing in, Lowry was pushing in as well to the north, but Google Frog pushing in much more strongly. And all these Ravagers will have no problem getting rid of this, although the Scorchers will be a slight thorn in their side, getting rid of two of the Ravagers that were already weakened. And the Ravagers actually having a hard time dealing with the Scorchers somewhat. The Masons distracting them, but ultimately the, Scor the Scorchers are going to go down. They will be able to take out another Ravager though before they die, or will they? No, they don't. That was a free kill too. But no, they don't manage to take out that Ravager. A little unfortunate for the Scorchers, but it does mean the Goofrog can't push in as cavalierly as they would have hoped. And along the south side, Lowry is taking control. Getting rid of some radar as well, and getting rid of these metal extractors. Lowry actually well aware of these metal extractors and going with for them with this leveler just to keep tearing down Google Frog's economy. Make sure Google Frog's economy cannot grow because like I said, Lowry this entire game does not have as much map control. They've been going for much more of a defensive position and from that they need to raid. They need to make sure that Google Frog cannot take advantage of the map control that was ceded to them. Lowry needs to do exactly what they're doing right now. This is perfect. It's also kind of distracting Google Frog and stopping the frontal raid. Still, Google Frog is pushing pretty hard, and despite the economic disadvantage that is coming in from Lowry, Lowry still doesn't have the production or really the consistent economy to make the army that much bigger yet. Also, I think there's, it looks like the army choice is a little bit questionable. The Scorchers aren't bad, especially since Google Frog has gone for Scorchers, but against the Ravagers, it's kind of hard to say what to do besides possibly Dominatrix or just more levelers and Ravagers of their own. Scorchers are a bit risky other than if they're going for cheap. Like, properly focus fired Scorchers can do a really good job against the Ravagers. But that hasn't been happening so far, and Lowry does have the leveler against Google Frog Scorchers, which will help out a lot. Also an air switch. Okay, that's that changes things. Air switch for Lowry and cloaky switch for Google Frog. Okay, that's that's new. You don't usually see a cloaky switch on red comet. You also don't usually see that animation error. That's actually Okay, that's something I thought was only happening in the newest engine, but apparently it's happening in the older engines as well. That weird rotation bug. Unless this game was actually played on the newer engine. Nope, it was played on 91. Okay. That's a bug. That's an animation bug that I meant to report earlier, but yeah, that that's a bug. Just, if any of the devs are watching this, that that's an animation issue that apparently just cropped up recently. Anyway, Lowry's air switch has been revealed. Using it rid of the Ravagers, which should lead to Crasher construction or Gremlin construction, and no, it doesn't lead to either. Looks like Cloakie's being used right now for ticks primarily. Some builders as well, but mostly for ticks, which against Lowry's raiding forces makes a lot of sense. Though right now, Lowry is actually managing to turn that raid into map control themselves. The entire east side is theirs, and a lot of the north as well. And once again, Lowry also taking the northwest. Making sure the northwest is never safe to take for Google Frog. And slowly but surely, just pincer and Google Frog. It's actually working out pretty well, ultimately. All things considered, this has actually been working out okay. Now, Google Frog does have the army advantage still. Google Frog can still just rush in with these Ravagers and tear everything apart. They have a lot of Ravagers with which to do this, and while the Ravens can do a pretty good job, they aren't being micro the best. They aren't attacking the weakest targets first. And ultimately, that north side getting cut through. Lowry losing the entire north side. The Ravagers will be able to take out the commander and take out all of this as well. Everything's been built up here, and Lowry's commander being forced to retreat into Google Frog's territory, which is never how you want to retreat. Retreating into enemy lines is typically a bad move. As we can see right now, Lowry's about to lose their commander as the Ravagers move into surround, and down it goes. Lowry loses their commander, and with that, the economy is a bit more even once again, though honestly, this is the stage in the game where it does not matter. At this stage in the game, economy isn't that... Sorry, commanders aren't that important to the economy. Reclaim is much more important at this stage. Metal extraction is still fairly important, but... Yeah, this is basically the reclaim stage, and the Ticks doing a wonderful job keeping Lowry's raiding forces at bay. But unfortunately, not a perfect one, as Lowry is able to get in and close down a bunch of Google Frog solar plants. However, their main purpose as walls is still being fulfilled fairly well, and Google Frog, despite having a lot of them closed down, has an energy advantage regardless. 
However, they almost certain well, almost certainly, they also most certainly have an army advantage. Goofrog pushing as well with the Ravagers into the main base, and since most of the army discrepancy is the Hawks, these Ravagers actually are having a great time. However, Shieldbot switch for Lowry. Didn't even notice that before. Shieldbot switch for Lowry means roaches, meaning these Ravagers can be dealt with pretty easily. So Lowry countering quite nicely. Getting rid of these Ravagers and sides coming in as well for Google Frog, just to be sure that there is some way of getting rid of these key structures. Though admittedly, a scythe won't be able to kill anything other than maybe the caretakers. Everything else isn't that vulnerable to just two sides. Now, more than two sides, like say three sides, three sides could actually do something. Though admittedly, there's still two hits to kill a factory, but that is enough. And if that works out, then Google Frog could take the game with that alone. Google Frog still applying a lot of pressure. Lowry did not have the best, safest map control, and Google Frog now punishing Lowry for that, though still getting pushed back pretty hard. But these sides do their trick and really come in and deal the damage they need to. Especially if they get rid of the, le the light vehicle factory is the main one. If they get rid of that, that's going to be huge. The roaches are doing a pretty good job, but getting to the light vehicle factory is going to be the problem. All of these workers are in the way. I think the first target is going to be the air plant. That'll probably be the first way to go because that is the most vulnerable and is still fairly powerful to have. And we'll see what happens with these sides. They aren't attacking quite yet. As Lowry going for an attack here, but the Ticks stopping those Scorchers from doing much of anything. These sides are going in for the attack on the Air Factory, which is actually going to take quite a few hits. More than I expected. I, yeah, I was mistaken. That's 200 damage each. Apparently not 800 damage. For some reason, I thought that was 800 damage. But it doesn't matter. The Airplane Factory is still going down. As are two of the sides, but the last scythe here can, well, okay, can actually slash at the raven. Did not expect that. Forgot the ravens actually fly really close to the ground, so the sides can take swipes at them. Yeah, the caretaker is there. That is, that is where I would have thought would have been best to follow up at. But still, sides could be forthcoming beyond this. But ticks are the main point of focus of the Kalikabuck factory. More ticks going off, but Lowry. Still able to harass quite well into Google Frog's base. Google Frog has a lot of stack defenses in the center of the map, which doesn't really help all that much. It's not, there's no resources in that area. It does mean that Lowry can't move from the north to the south easily, but at this point, Lowry's going to be able to do that through Google Frog's main base, or very nearly so. So it barely matters. However, Tick's coming in here, stopping, one, stopping both these scorches and continuing to kill off this metal extractor. See, so yeah, the Ticks are doing a really good job just keeping... L Lowry at bay, but Lowry wasn't the one being kept at bay before. Like, this is new. Lowry is... Lowry is actually starting on top somewhat, though by economy, not so much. But these roaches are doing a great job hanging themselves. The raptors can't easily deal with them. Unfortunately, one of the roaches does get hit by a raptor shot, takes out a solar collector, and doesn't deal much damage to the raptor ball. Which means Google Frog is actually slowly but surely able to get back in this game, which... Was Google Frogs for a while, but Lowry seemed to have a pretty good chance of getting back in. Still, Lowry with the Scorchers able to deal with most of the Raptors, but not all of them, unfortunately. Now, this is where Roach would be perfect, and a Roach is coming in, so this is perfect. Let's get that Roach in there while the Raptors are distracted trying to kill off the Scorchers, and. Well, okay, the Roach into defensive position instead for when Google Frog inevitably goes for a counterattack. But Lowry doesn't have much going in for raiding. Oh, never mind, has enough. Has two Scorchers going in for further raiding, getting rid of more and more of Google Frogs. Metal Extractor is just making sure Google Frog does not make use of the map control. Not making use of the map control to take the Metal Extractor, just raiding them out, just keeping pressure on them, making sure that Google Frog cannot do anything other than, okay, the occasional attack, yes, but basically they have to be always on their toes, always at least partially on the defensive. Which is buying Lowry some time, though admittedly, looks like that time is being used instead of going to Shield Ball. So switching into Shield Ball from light vehicle primary strategy, from Scorcher heavy strategy, which is pretty handily countered by levelers, but given that Google Frog is going so heavily for Ravagers, this might work. Like a lot of thugs just being built up could do the trick. Now Google Frog does have a caretaker in the center of the map to repair their units. So the Ravagers won't have to retreat as far and for as long. There's also reclaim, lots and lots of reclaim that Google Frog can get thanks to this caretaker. So a lot of the economy for Google Frog is going to be reclaimed now, despite the map control being less relevant thanks to the Scorcher raids. Google Frog is going to have all this map control because this, or not map control, all the resources because of the reclaim here right by Lowry's base. 
Now, Lowry... Lowry is well aware of this. I mean, Lowry knows that there's this caretaker here. Or at least knows there's stuff there. Doesn't actually know the caretaker's there. But knows that all these Ravagers are here, which is still a bit of a problem. Now getting outlaws on top of a couple thugs. Only a couple, actually. Just a couple thugs, but... He is going for the reclaim pretty heavily. And now the Ravagers are coming in. Google Frog looks like they want to go in for the kill. Lowry is putting pressure on the main base. But yeah, Google Frog with... I don't know how many... Ravagers are here. Okay, 16 Ravagers coming in. And some ticks as well for extra support. And Roach is... Will be able to get rid of a few of the Ravagers. Yeah, two of the Ravagers go down right away to that Roach. But the Ravagers are still able to push in pretty heavily. Regrouping and reattacking. Google Frog coming in with still about a dozen Ravagers. One of them does get surrounded by some Scorchers, but actually, you know, the Scorchers are pushing back pretty heavily. I'm just surprised Google Frog has not switched over to a Ravager leveler mix. Because that would work well both for getting rid of these Scorchers and also getting rid of the Shield Ball that's being built up. However, the Tick's still doing a pretty good job getting rid of those Scorchers, so at least there is something. And Google Frog able to f get rid of all the remaining Scorchers pretty handily. But despite that, I think Google Frog is still going to lose these Ravagers. And then if they lose the Ravagers, they're going to lose the Caretaker, and lose the Caretaker, then it really does come down to everything that's being built around the map. All the Metal Extractors that have been destroyed in Lowry's raids. As Lowry has been slowly but surely inching back into the game. And Outlaw is done. There's four other Outlaws as well. Or three others, one of them being produced. These Outlaws will probably help out in the next Ravager attack. Slowing them all down and just making it that much easier to kill them. One of the Ravagers goes down for free to a Lotus on top of that Google Frog is slowly but surely losing their control of the map, and despite the fact that there is still that massive static defense line in front of Lowry's base, Lowry's still able to get out with levelers and, well, everything, really. Google Frog trying to counterattack with Wolverines, forcing some shots to be wasted from the levelers, but ultimately not mattering all that much. And leveler is not phased by the Wolverine mines. The Outlaw's not in position either. That's one thing. The Outlaw's not in position to work with these convicts. The convict shields have gone down, and the outlaws can't rely on that protection. They can't really come in to slow things down. However, even with that, there are a lot of units coming in here, and there we go. Now the outlaws have come in, and while dying in the process, this is where, okay, this is where Scorchers need to be here as follow-up. The leveler helps, but there needs to be Scorchers or something just more numerous as follow-up. These outlaws are dead, and the slow damage is wearing off very quickly. So unfortunately, a lack of coordination in that strike means Lowry did not get the full effect of the Outlaws. In fact, rather wasted the Outlaws, because that slow damage didn't actually amount to much. At the same time, though, Scorcher is coming along here, getting rid of more and more Solar Collectors, not Metal Extractors, though. Metal Extractors aren't even a concern right now. Google Frog looks like they're focusing entirely on Reclaim. Not even focusing on Metal Extractors at all. Google Frog actually has no Metal Extractors apart from the ones in their main base, and a couple over here in the north center. That's it. Lowry actually has, I think, more metal extractors, or if not more, then about the same amount. But right now, Google Frog behind on metal extractors, but definitely ahead for reclaim. And it kind of sucks for Lowry that they lost the air factory because a Wyvern right now would be perfect, or even just more Ravens, or even Phoenixes, just to napalm this whole thing out. But unfortunately, none of that exists, which means that is basically impossible for. Lowry to easily tear apart this Ravager Ball. It's not impossible to tear it apart, it's just hard to do it easily, that's the problem. And Lowe's getting rid of these Wolverine Mines, which are starting to pile up. But honestly, it's just that Lowry is not producing a whole lot of units yet. They're building up a ball just to counter to break out of this. But Google Frog getting that contained back up again, and still, despite this, Lowry building up to the north, building more metal extractors and getting what they can, but the fact that they can't get rid of this Caretaker, can't get rid of the Reclaim, that's causing the problems. The fact that Google Frog can get away with just reclaiming so much, there's really nothing to be done about that because, well, it's behind all this defense. Behind all these units, behind all these static defenses, there's not much that Lowry can do quite yet. But it's getting close. Lowry is almost at the point where they can come in. But no, never mind. Lowry decides this is unwinnable, throws in the towel, and that is game. A little bit surprising there, but yeah, that... That was game. So... Jeez, Lowry actually had a bit of a chance there, but I guess decided it wasn't worth it. So, that's how it goes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll have another one in just a moment. It will be a game, shorter game, mind you, between Ivand and Magman, or Ivan D.
I call him Ivan D. Ivan D and Magman on Baron. Stay tuned for that, but just in... It'll be up in just a moment. I will learn how to put words in the right order. I used to know how to do that. It's apparently a skill I've lost. I will get it back eventually. Stay tuned for that. 